stop us. Window World, highest in customer satisfaction by J.D. Power. The best warranty in the business, hands down. Even glass breakage. Beautiful double hung windows, 259 installed. Compare at 600. We've got two new ways for you to love Boston Market Rotisserie Chicken. For a limited time, enjoy Parmesan Tuscan with herbs or smothered in sweet and spicy apples. Two new flavors, one happy table. Boston Market. Visit ColonialWilliamsburg.com and take time to go back. Das Milch trägt kein solch Gesicht. Das Milch Wow. He is a world-renowned opera star, as you can imagine. And his recent performance at the Met in New York was hailed as a showstopper. Speedo Green not only has an unusual name, he's far from a typical opera star. When he was 12 years old, living in Virginia, Green was sent to a detention center for threatening to kill his family. He was 12 years old again. He sat down with Mark Seagraves to talk about why he's in town sharing his story with at-risk teenagers. Mark? Yeah, Wendy, I spent time with Speedo Green at the Sasha Bruth Youth Center, where for decades they've been helping troubled teens. He told those teens that he had two transformative moments in his life. The first one was being taken out of his home by police at the age of 12. I was, I was actually shackled. Uh, they put me in, in leg shackles and handcuffs, put me back to a police car and drove me three and a half hours to the detention center in Staunton, Virginia, and I stayed there for two months. And it was uh, the scariest part of my life. Like, um, it was actually uh, traumatizing. Ryan Speedo Green was in D.C. Monday afternoon talking to a small group of at-risk teens about how he was transformed from a 12-year-old on his way to prison to a young man on his way to stardom. At 6 feet 5 inches tall and 300 pounds, Speedo Green can be an imposing figure off and on the stage until you see him smile. <laughs> Today, Green's life seems perfect, newly wed with his first son on the way in a career that takes him around the world doing something he loves. But the bass baritone is candid. His life could have turned out much differently. Growing up in Newport News, Virginia, he could have ended up like two of his older brothers did, in a gang or in prison. As a young boy living across from a crack house where gunfights were routine, he admits he had trouble controlling his anger. He recalls meeting his fourth grade teacher on the first day of school. I introduced myself to her by throwing my desk at her and telling her I wouldn't be taught by a white woman. That same anger got him in real trouble a few years later, at the age of 12, when he threatened to kill his mother and brother. He was locked up for two months. And so I spent a lot of time in solitary. I spent a lot of time in my cell by myself because I wasn't allowed to be around other children. He spent much of that time in solitary confinement listening to music on a radio the guards gave him. When he was released, he joined the chorus at school. That led him to being accepted to an elite art school. At the age of 15, he took a school trip to New York to see the Metropolitan Opera's production of Carmen, starring Denise Graves. Seeing her on stage and it being my first opera, you know, seeing someone who looked like me on stage, that I knew what I wanted to do. I knew, you know, what my purpose was. And I was like, I'm going to sing at the Met. I told him at age 15 that, that I'm going to sing at the Met. Nine years later, Green realized that dream of singing at the Met. Today at 31, Green travels the world, bringing to life rugged figures in classic operas before grand audiences. But it's telling his life story to troubled youths like these teens at the Sasha Bruce Center in Northeast D.C. that he considers equally, if not more, rewarding. I was incarcerated for two months as a 12-year-old child. Green hopes that by seeing someone who looks like them, who has faced similar challenges they are now facing, the teens will realize that just like a kid named Speedo, they can live their dreams too. It took almost half my life to get to a point where I didn't hate myself or I, didn't, uh, or I accepted the fact that my past is my past and my future is what I make it. Not even that long ago, really, I wouldn't have been allowed to sing on an opera stage because of the color of my skin. Now, when Speedo sat down with those kids at the Sasha Bruce Center, none of them knew who he was. He asked them to guess, and they all guessed football player or some other yeah. type of athlete. Most were shocked when he told them that he was an opera singer, and he said that really hurts him because...